Hello YouTube, it's your girl Portia T. Air, and I am so glad you all are back for another video by myself. You know, so glad you're here. As you can see from the title, this is going to be my Sephora haul, my Sephora VIB Rouge holiday haul. You guys know twice a year at least, I think this year they did it a little bit more, you know, everybody was struggling to get the coins. But twice a year normally, Sephora has a holiday sale um, during the holiday season and then they do another one in the spring. Depending on your tier with Sephora, um, you can get from 10%, 15%, and 20% off your purchase for a certain amount of days. And tomorrow, November 9th, is the last day of the sale. So I thought I would share with you all some of the things that I picked up. I didn't get much this year, you know. I had to keep it cute. So I didn't get many things on this sale, but I wanted to share with you all what I got. So keep watching and let's get into all the goodies. I am not going to go in any particular order with what I'm going to show you. I did not get much. I decided this year, Portia, you're only going to get what you need. I don't care if something's running low. You're not going to buy a new one until it's completely empty. So I pretty much have a lot of stuff and my skincare, I'm, I'm good with a lot of things that I had. So I was being very particular and very strategic in what I was buying in this um, during this sell time. So let's get into the items that I got and hopefully this inspires you or, you know, might want to throw something in your basket before the sale ends. Keep watching. By the way, you guys, do not judge my hair. I tried to blow it out, flat iron it myself and it's slowly just getting really crazy. So I pinned it back. So that's what my hair is looking like. Girl, what, what you doing over there? Anyways, the first item that I got, I got this from the Sephora, oops, the Sephora inside of JCPenney's. And from my understanding, um, this is a JCPenney Sephora exclusive. So it is a duo of the Fenty glosses. And these are the colors. Fenty Glow, which was on my list. I love Fenty Glow and I've been out for a very long time. And then the other one is Sweet Mouth. And I believe Sweet Mouth, did it come out in the holiday set last year? Or am I thinking something wrong? Or is this already an individual color? Either way, I got a duo and I don't have either one of these colors. So, snag that with my 20% off. Next up, I purchased the Black Opium Yves Saint Laurent Eau de Parfum in Neon. Yes, I was matching my background. <laughs> you guys see that? So this is the YSL Black Opium perfume that's been out, but this is in the newest addition to the family um, Neon. And I never smelt it. When I got this, I just had to strictly go off the fact that I knew I had loved the original, oops, excuse me. I loved the original scent of this. And when I seen they had a neon version, I mean, it really just sparked my interest. So I was inside of the JCPenney Sephora. There is nothing on the shelves. So I don't know what JCPenney's is doing separate from just the actual Sephora store, but it's nothing on the shelves. You can't smell nothing, touch anything. You just got to get what you want and walk out. So that's interesting. So I was just looking at it like, I think it does smell good. And while I was in the store, I was watching YouTube reviews, trying to look at what signatures or not signatures, but what scents was inside of this fragrance. And just from looking at reviews and reading all the ingredients and details on it I was just like okay I'm gonna get it and I have to say it does smell good I think I do like the original a little more but this does not um, it's not bad if you like a little bit of a citrus mm, add it to your original scent you will love this it's a bit sweet but it still has that warmth and I really love warm fragrances and this to me is perfect for the fall and winter i got the one ounce bottle and that's black opium neon by saint laurent 
Next up in what I purchased, I got this from Rare Beauty. It's a soft pinch blush in the shade Faith. Here we go with the white. Um, as you guys know, I did a review on this particular line. Didn't really care for the foundation, um, but the blush I really love. So I didn't think I would go wrong in getting another blush. And this one is the purple tone. Ooh, can you guys see? I'll pull it out without making a mess. Y'all see that color? So pretty. I think it's going to be perfect for the cheeks to add a little berryness to your, you know, these cheeks without being too much. And I'm a blush girl. I love blush. So I definitely want to grab one of these because I love the other color, which I have. What color did I get, you guys? Was it love or was it joy? I'm going to have to look. I have like the orangey hue one. So I also went and picked up an old fave. Nothing really exciting about this, but this is the Urban Decay primer potion and this is in the shade Eden. I love to have me a good base for my eyeshadows and I remember back in the day I used to love using the primer potions and I remember I loved the doe foot applicator. You guys see that? Um, I remember I really liked this. Oh I thought it had like a crook on the tip. Did it change? I haven't used this in many years so trying to find the right base for my eyeshadow i've noticed that maybe i'm not using enough my eyeshadows have increasing a little bit no big deal but i remember i used to like this so i was like let me pick this up and see if it's still a good one before that i always and the staple is mac cosmetics painterly always have loved that as a base so i think i'm going to pick that up again too you got sometimes you got to throw it back and take it back to what you used to use because it never did you any wrong so Urban Decay Eden was another item that I snatched up during the sale. And last but definitely not least, I picked up, you guys know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for another foundation. And I got the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Skin Finish Buildable Coverage Foundation Stick. Mm. This, I was really excited. I've always loved stick foundations. I love Black Opal. I remember back in the day, MAC had a stick foundation that I, that I used to like. And so when I seen this, I was like, let me try it out. And even on my clients, a lot of times, I would mix Black Opal with a liquid foundation. I love stick foundations. And as you guys can see, I have used it. I tried it out for the first time today. And oh, I got the shade Chocolate Mousse, which I have used in the liquid foundation form of this. The coverage was huge. I gave a lot of coverage, but I remember it had a strong scent that I didn't really care for. And it was extremely mattifying. So before the scent, it was more of the how it mattified my skin that I didn't care for. My skin is normal, dry. And sometimes if something's too matte, it can make me look real just thirsty. So I didn't really care for that foundation. But when I heard this was buildable and it was a stick, it's like, oh, I need to get into that. And I have it on right now. You guys, she's, she's nice. Like... I really, really like it. And I feel like with stick foundations, when your makeup messes up, you can literally keep applying it all day. I probably could do a little more around my mouth or it could be my lighting. My lighting is really wonky. Please do not judge my lighting right now. But this was the last item I picked up and it is on my face now. Should I do a review on this? I don't know why I didn't think to like do a review. I may, I may do that for you girls because this is nice, it's cute, it's buildable, it's natural. I feel like you can still see my flaws peek through. It's not flawless, but it's, it's, it's cute. You know, you look real good. So those are all the items that I picked up during the Sephora VIB holiday sale. Did you guys like what I got? What should I have got? What did I get that you think, girl, should have left that where it was at? Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or videos like this please follow me on social media and again it's your girl Portia T air I will come back with some more content for you guys thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time bye